This is our Ram Pro Master 2500 DIY van conversion, and I just want to give you a nice, simple tour. If you're new to our channel, then you'll know this is just a van tour. But if you've been watching us for a while, this might be a little confusing because for five years, we've been living on a sailboat. And we just spent six months sailing around the Sea of Cortez in Mexico. But it's hurricane season and the boat is our home. So now we are houseless, but we do have our van conversion that we're gonna travel around in for all of hurricane season. And we wanted to update you on what we're doing that's not boat life. So we built this van a little bit more for Jeremy's office space and kind of a weekend trip sort of place. So it's not your full built out van that you're used to, but we're trying to make the most of the space that we have. So for our clothes, we had to get creative. This is my clothes in here. We just bought these cubes, packing cubes on Amazon, some plates stored, gotta make use of every space. Then back here, we have the same cubes for Skylar. Everyone has their own color, kind of keep it organized. Um, as well as her toys so that she can access them well. She also had a toy bin on the back. It's outside now. And then Jeremy's clothes, he's black colored and he, his cubes live up here. So we kind of all have our own little zone so that our clothes can stay organized. And here is our food storage. You can see on both sides. We need to suck up a little bit. And then, yeah, the van's pretty much only like 80% done, but we didn't want to wait around to finish it up So we figured we'd take it out and then each time we go we kind of find something new We want to tweak and tune up and we adjust that and add some upgrades So this can either be a bench you sit on so we have this cushion or the back will fold down This will lock up in place and then we have the cushion up here to fill this in and make it a full I believe queen size bed so yeah, it can kind of work as two different ways. And then we just put it down in the morning and turn it back into a seating area for people. And then we have here our slide out fridge. And this is so that we can have you know, cold food without worrying about getting more ice. So we have a full, this actually came from the boat and was our freezer and then we use it for our fridge when we're in the van. It just slides right back in. This is a very simple build. It was my office. I actually had a desktop computer, a bunch of camera equipment that could be charged up and throw my surfboards in there so I could just work or go surfing. So it's not ideal, it's not a full build, but we can sleep in here, we can keep food in here and we can go out and enjoy and have a good time out in the outdoors. But we are gonna try to live in it for the duration of the entire summer, maybe three or four months. We will see how this goes. I am gonna show you the back of the van and the whole storage. The entire back of the van is set up for storage and it was originally built this way because I had a lot of uh, work equipment and I wanted to have some bikes in here. Looks a little bit like chaos. This is actually a six foot deep all the way back has two bikes in it currently. And then these are only four feet, but this is all the camping gear. Back in the storage compartment is my electrical setup. We went with Renogy products. Uh, I have Victron on the boat and I kind of wish I went with Victron, but the Renogy works great, especially for an inexpensive van build. But charge controller, there's solar on the roof, 320 watts of solar on the roof, uh, inverter and simple 12 volt system. Our van setup is really simple and basic. We didn't build the kitchen or sink and all that stuff inside. We are camping like normal, cook outside, sit outside, eat outside but uh, it allows us to stay safe, stay warm, and have a memory foam mattress and sleep really well at night in a lot of different temperatures. And that's what we love about the van. It also stores all of the crap that we bring. Our Ram Pro Master has been very helpful for us because we both run our businesses on the go. So either in the boat or in the van. We have the Starlink internet, we can run our laptops, we have solar power, charge everything and work from the van or outside the van and run our business. And that's how we get to live like this. And so having the van is actually really convenient that we can stay cozy, stay comfortable, stay safe, have uh, show our kid the outdoors and run our businesses from the road or anywhere that we are. Well, 
I hope that that was a refreshing and enjoyable van tour. We use the van. It's not pretty. It's very dirty. There's a dent on the outside. The in interior is 80% done. The whole motto of this van was good enough. That's what Geneva and I kept saying to each other as we were finishing or not finishing a project. It's good enough because we want to get out there. We want to do adventures. We want to explore and we want to show our daughter as much of the world as that we can. And so it was cheap. It was fast and it works. It's functional. It's comfortable and we love it. I hope that helps. Please let me know in the comments if there's anything else you wanna see. If you have any concerns or comments or other stuff that you'd like to see, like, subscribe if you wanna see more content like this. We have a lot of traveling ahead of us and a lot that we wanna show you. She can't hear you.